Uh, coming up next, uh, we have some more Miro for you. Uh, we're moving on to another uh, another one of these countries, uh, another one in the same series here. Up next is Portugal. Okay. Uh, again, you're looking at, say, again, same series, which is, you know, it's seven countries. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe we've got three of them here today. Um, and, you know, it, again, you to a degree, you have to just go with yourself on this one. You know, he, he, He's been, you know, and this is, and Miro has kind of been, you know, a sand, it, some of his work was called like a sand for the subconscious, a sandbox for the subconscious. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's, you know, an odd phrase, but maybe one that's quite, is incredibly applicable. Sure. And that, you know, you've just kind of, um, this is, you know, he just, he, this is a, he's tossing away convention here. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's like, what do you see about that that immediately makes you think of Portugal? Well, maybe nothing. Or maybe actually, and that's the funny part, some of these hit people head on and some of them, and some of them just leave people in confusion. Right. I've walked to the Miro Museum, I've, there are some things where I've paused in front of them and go, ah oh, yeah, I right. really see where you're going with that. Other ones I've sat there scratching my head. <laughs> but you sit there just the same. I mean, and that's the you thing. You have to look at them. You have to, uh, there's something about this where you have to examine it and you have to give it your own spin and it's left wide open for you to do so with so much here to look at. Such a great play of uh, black and white and all of these primary colors you get into some more you know bits of more interesting colors you have you know of course the uh, the signature there a great thing uh, oh yeah always you, you know. all you always look for, always look for that and right. that's you know very, very elegant signature yes, as well yes, actually um, and you know and you have to remember all of these are going to be you know he was Catalan was Barcelona mm -hmm. so you're gonna see these bits of folk art kind of plastered in all over mm -hmm. the place I mean these are and that's the thing. That's why they, that's one of the reasons they're these crude figures. Is that they are they're folk art figures in many ways. That he's in, he's incorporating his history into it. And so, you know, as much as he was saying he was rejecting all of these things, you know, is he far, falling so far away from these other guys? He's still using his pieces of history. He's just using them in a different way. And, right. You know, and while we've dealt so much with you know how pretty how pretty people put things put things together and mm -hmm. how they while rejecting one thing were embracing another. He is too. I mean, he is he is embracing his history and at the same time rejecting sort of some of the you know the, the more classic elements of painting. Right. And I love these interpretations of these different countries because it's not a map, it's not a flag. You no. know, it is just pure interpretive material. Pure um, emotion, really. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like you know, it's like you know, I, I believe he actually uh, he he would actually sometimes do uh, bl sort of blind write automatic writing uh -huh. to see you know to see and you can see kind of elements of that with the sure you know <laughs> right and and then and then he'd go and then he'd go back and kind of and do his own thing there. yeah right. so it's this sort of you know he would use his own subconscious to create the art. 